hello everybody welcome to my channel my name is marion and on this video we are doing this bodycon dress so if you haven't subscribed please go ahead and subscribe down below and turn the notification bell so for this dress it's a normal bodycon dress it has a zip at the back and the drama is on the sleeves where i've created this petal effect like a flower petal effect so if you want to know how i accomplish this look continue watching for the tutorial okay so i made patterns the patterns for the dress using paper so it was a bit short so i'm just using sellotape to connect it to make it longer for the length of my dress so to start i'm going to mark the neckline which is 3.5 inches vertically and then 3 inches horizontally and then horizontally i'm going with 7 inches for half my shoulder measurement then vertically from that i'm going with 8.5 inches for my armhole then at that measurement of my armhole i'm going across with quarter my bust measurement that's nine inches for quarter my bust and i just want to make my armhole i'm carving using freehand if you have a ruler you can use it okay then from there i'm measuring my half body measurement or bodice measurement mine is 15 inches and then at the 15 inches point i'm going horizontally with quarter my waist measurement and then linking that to the armhole with a straight line then from the waist measurement i'm going down nine inches for my waist to hip measurement and then across with my quarter hip measurement And then I'm linking the waist to the hip with a curve freehand like a slight curve then now we can measure the full length of the dress and then just horizontally just square it out and then connect the hemline to the hip with a straight line but because i want it to be pencil i'm going in with about one inch 1.5 inches and then i'm going to curve that from the hip to that point to make it pencil so i hope you have noticed i've not been adding any sewing allowances or allowance for ease and that's because i'm using scuba fabric okay now i'm adding the hem hem allowance so that's hem allowance i'm not going to be adding any sewing allowance for the side seams because i'm using scuba and the scuba fabric is stretchy so yeah this is just marking I'm, I'm going to cut one for the this is the front piece so i'm going to cut one and i'm going to place it on fold as i cut so those are the markings indicated there if you're making this dress using a fabric that does not stretch please add your seam allowances or is allowances if you need any other allowances <laughs> so to make my back pattern i'm just going to fold it like that and then i'll put a two inch allowance for the back where i'll be attaching the zipper so that's the allowance there and then the rest of the pattern is similar except also for the neck instead of going 3.5 inches vertically on the neck i'll go two inches because the back neckline is a bit higher than the front neckline but otherwise the other seams are just going to be exactly the same so that's the neckline So 
So that's my back pattern and for this one I'm going to cut two because it's not going to be on fold. Like I'll cut two on the on the fabric. So yeah. Then next is the sleeve and I lost the footage where I was actually marking out the sleeve, but it's just a regular sleeve. I measured up to my elbow. So that was about 10.5 inches and it's just a regular sleeve like that. Cut two pieces. Yeah. So for the next patterns, we are going to work on the petal effect thing that the sleeve has. And there's no actual... Okay, let me just show you what I did. <laughs> because I wanted the petals to be really long. I was going with three sizes for the petals. And for this, the, the first two sizes, okay, had three sizes, okay. So the biggest two sizes, I wanted them to, I wanted to have two pieces per sleeve. So that's why I'm cutting, wow, how can I explain this? Well, let me just let you watch what I'm doing. So I'm just getting the shape and then at the top there, I'm making sure it's, around half the the sleeve measurement at the cuff so that i can put two of them for one sleeve who oh, i hope it makes sense so for instance my sleeve is about uh 12 inches in width at the elbow so i'm making sure that this petal at the top is six inches so that when i have two of them it will be 12 inches in total i hope that makes sense anyway so now i'm using the first one to just create the second petal i'm making it a bit shorter and then i'll do the same for the third one so for the third petal because it's going to be smaller than this other two i'll be needing four pieces for each sleeve so I'll reduce that length of the top to half of the length I've been cutting so that four of them can fit on one sleeve. I hope I'm making sense, but you know, if I'm not, just watch what I'm doing and then maybe replay the, to, to get a gist of what I mean. So I'm calling it a sleeve petal and I'm going to cut four pieces, two for each sleeve. Same with the, the middle one, I'll cut four pieces, two for each sleeve. Cut four. And then for this small one, I'll cut eight pieces so that I have four pieces for each sleeve. Cut eight. Okay. So that's how I'll be placing them. Like imagine this is one side of the sleeve. I'll place it like that and then the other smaller one on this other side. Anyway, you'll see all that when we begin sewing so i'm using this scuba it's purple i love scuba fabric it it feels spongy it's cheap <laughs> i don't it's just nice to work with so i'm going to cut these pieces and okay after cutting i have the front piece and then i have two back pieces and then of course i have the sleeves And then for the petal pieces, these are them. I have four big ones, four middle ones, and eight small ones. 
so it's time to begin sewing and then so now i'm just putting on the putting the the back pieces together right sides kissing determined where the zip will reach and then from where i have marked the zip will reach i'm just going to sew down to close the back back seam if you want you can leave some space for a split or a slit but i didn't want a slit on this one so i sewed all the way to the hem then next i'm attaching the zipper i know some people prefer to attach the zip before doing the back seam but i don't do that personally i prefer doing the seam and then attaching the zip it just works better for me that way also after you have cut your pieces you can overlock them but the scuba fabric does not fray a lot so i just went in without overlocking every piece anyway with the zip attached i'm then going to take the front pattern piece and then attach the shoulder seams with the back piece So then next I'm going to be attaching the sleeves. It's better if you pin them with pins before going straight into sewing to pin my sleeves onto the dress and then sew them on. Wow, the machine was really trying me that day. Anyway, it's now sewing. So just sew the sleeves on. So after that I'm going to be doing the side seams starting from the sleeves all the way to the hemline and I'm going to do this for both sides of the dress. then after that we are going to hem the bottom as well as the neckline of the dress 
so it's going to be an easy just folding roll and hem i think it's called roll like roll and hem the neckline and do the same with the with the hemline of the dress So after that we are ready to finish the sleeves with that dramatic petal effect so I'm reaching for my petals things and so I'm going to start attaching them using a pin before I go to sew but if you want you can attach the big ones sew them in the middle size ones sew them in uh, I mean attach the small ones first sew them in attach the middle size ones sew them in then attach the large ones and sew them in to make it more tight but I wanted to just do them all at once so as you can see I'm doing the small petals first and I'm overlapping them about one inch I'm overlapping about one inch on each of them and just pinning in place then next I'm reaching for the middle sized ones and for the middle I'll start with where the seam of the of the dress is the seam of the sleeve and I'll pin making sure that the pieces at the bottom are also pinned and then I'll overlap a bit with the second piece and continue pinning like that. Then when the second piece is done, I'm taking the biggest, the largest pieces and I'm just going to pin on top of the middle sized pieces because they are the same length at the point where you're pinning so it becomes very thick and for some machines it's going to be hard to sew through this thickness so if you want you can sew you can hand stitch because yes it's going to be a bit difficult to sew this thickness using your machine so you can hand stitch or do the method where you first place the small ones stitch them and so on and so forth so this is how it's going to look after but for now we can stitch all of these pieces together to attach them on the sleeve You know, it's really difficult to maneuver that but after you succeed this is how the sleeve looks so because the fabric is scuba I did not hem the petals or do anything with like that but if you're using a regular fabric you may maybe line the petals so that they are finished but because scuba does not fray I hadn't I did not line or hem the petals And that's it. Thank you for watching. Thank I hope you've subscribed. Bye.